Electronic warfare is becoming increasingly important as radio controlled devices are used more frequently in recent military conflicts. The RF Hunter station was created for detecting these devices. It is mobile, so it can be deployed right in the field. The equipment consists of a backpack, a dome with a set of antennas, a receiving device, and a rugged tablet. The antennas capture over 2,000 signals and display their location on an interactive map on the tablet. If needed, the station can operate autonomously when mounted on a tripod, so an operator's presence is not required. When multiple stations are used in the area, it is not possible to detect a target, but also to accurately determine its angle and time of arrival. This innovation will help effectively locate drones and other sources of radio signals. Drones themselves are also continuing to improve. The U.S. Marine Corps has received a new modification called Rogue. It folds into a transportable position and fits in a tube on the Marine's back. It takes off vertically. Weighing 10 pounds, it has a combat payload of 1 pound. This payload includes not only explosives, but also tungsten cubes. This filling creates an advanced shotgun effect upon explosion. It doesn't matter where the explosion occurs, whether hitting an armored vehicle or in the air during air defense operations. Tungsten pellets scatter in all directions, targeting personnel and unarmored vehicles. Here's how ground drones are improving. In the US, the combat vehicle Ripsaw M5 recently passed successful fire tests. It is equipped with the RT-40 combat module. The ground drone armament consists of a 1.118-inch caliber cannon and an M240 machine gun. It has smoke grenades to create a screen to evade observation and drones. The vehicle moves on tracks, giving it increased off-road capability. The absence of a crew cabin reduced its size and weight. The ground combat vehicle is remotely controlled from an armored Bradley vehicle located at a distance. The operator can remotely set the movement route, survey the area using three front cameras and one retractable camera, and fire both types of weapons. A flying drone with a thermal imager can be mounted on an additional platform on the turrets to detect enemies in low visibility or inside buildings. This innovation helps perform active combat missions without risking the lives of personnel. Military equipment with direct human presence continues to develop. The South Korean Army has released a self-propelled mortar system designed for a pilot, commander, gunner, and loader. The vehicle moves on a track chassis and is equipped with a mortar on a rotating platform with 360-degree rotation. The main feature of the invention is its rate of fire and semi-automatic loading. Thanks to Hanwha Defense and Dynamics technology, the machine can fire mortars at a constant rate of 3 rounds per minute for an indefinite amount of time. It also has a super-fast mode of up to 10 rounds per minute. Due to its high rate of fire, the machine can hit multiple targets at distances of 5 to 8 miles, depending on the type of shells. High performance and accuracy are achieved through the navigation system and computerized fire control. An American manufacturer offers its version of a self-propelled mortar system called Scorpion. It also claims to be the fastest and most accurate. The military equipment is mounted on a four-wheel drive pickup truck equipped with a hydraulic platform. Thanks to hydraulic cylinders, it quickly transforms from transport to operational mode. Deployment takes 15 to 20 seconds, much faster than the 10 minutes required for the stationary setup. The base plate rests on the ground to absorb recoil. The mortar barrel can be changed to a large or small caliber. New targets up to 1,000 can be added during firing by placing markers on the monitor. The invention allows for rapid deployment, firing a stockpile of shells and immediate departure to avoid counterattacks. In urban combat, densely populated areas or mountainous regions, external noise and echoes can make it difficult to quickly locate where the enemy is firing from. The problem is worsened by the noise of your own equipment, clanking tracks and roaring engines. However, the new shot detection system Thunderbullet handles this task well in such conditions. It consists of sound sensors and thermal imaging optics. 
By combining these technologies, the number of false alarms is reduced and accuracy is increased. The system detects the location of shots from pistols, rifles, machine guns, and sniper rifles. The new system can be mounted on armored vehicles, unarmored special service vehicles, or used as a portable device. It can be integrated with various weapon systems and remote control stations to coordinate return fire. It helps quickly identify the source of a threat. Reconnaissance drones, or those carrying explosives, pose a significant threat on the battlefield. To counter them, the Leonidas system, which is mounted on a striker armored vehicle, was created. Minimal structural changes are needed for integration. The invention works like a microwave oven, creating powerful waves. The emitter is raised and directed towards incoming drones using hydraulic cylinders. Microwave waves disrupt the drone's connection with its control unit, causing it to fall to the ground. A key feature is that it can disable multiple drones if they enter the range of the microwave gun. This is an effective weapon against a swarm of drones. These systems can be used in groups, creating a shield that the enemy drones cannot penetrate. Infrared rays are used in night vision devices, as well as in targeting and detection systems. But a Swedish startup has managed to create an anti-technology that camouflages military equipment from such rays. It is a kind of invisibility cloak that makes an APC or tank invisible to the infrared spectrum. The technology is based on hexagonal semiconductor panels that create a shield. They are powered by the onboard network and change their temperature to match the surroundings. As a result, military equipment can be camouflaged as a large rock or civilian vehicles for detection devices. The metal construction provides sufficient strength, so these panels offer additional protection to the crew from shrapnel. If damaged, the hexagons are easily replaceable. Meanwhile in Ukraine, one of the largest FPV drones has been developed. It weighs 40 pounds and can carry up to 20 pounds of payload. The model comes in four versions, a kamikaze drone that crashes into the target with explosives, a bomber drone that transports a large payload, a carrier drone or mothership for other drones to extend their range, and a relay drone that extends the radio signal range for other devices. The range of the largest FPV drone is 15 miles. With its high payload capacity, it is equipped with an extended battery and can penetrate deeper behind enemy lines to strike at the rear. The new drone is also used for remote mine laying and delivering supplies to frontline positions. The Croatian company Doc Ing has developed an innovative solution for counterterrorism, hostage rescue operations, and resolving social conflicts. This is a robotic tracked platform with armored shields and spotlights in the front for illumination. It also has cameras and microphones that transmit video and audio to monitors inside. The platform can hold eight people, although the machine can operate without them. The operator is positioned at the back behind a separate shield, providing good control of the situation both in front and on the platform. Various configurations include tools for clearing debris, overcoming obstacles, and transporting cargo. The machine will be used to protect tactical teams, break through and exit dangerous zones, and evacuate the wounded. The Hesco Mill invention helps create reliable protection against blast waves and shrapnel. These are flat galvanized steel meshes with geotextile inside. They quickly fold into boxes to be filled with sand. This allows for the construction of thick walls that can withstand a grenade explosion, mine impacts, and artillery shells. The wall can even withstand a crash with a 65,000-pound vehicle at 50 miles per hour. Assembling a 33-foot-long barrier takes 20 minutes and requires two people and a front loader. To build a similar wall from sandbags, it takes eight people, eight hours, and much more sand. The innovation is planned for use in fencing operational bases, command posts, control centers, ammunition storage, bunkers, and more. Ground coordination is necessary for managing military flights. But how do you create a military control center in the field? Saab has taken on this challenge by developing the Deployable Digital Tower Mobile Station. 
It is assembled from two modules, transportable by truck or plane. The first module is a 100-foot hydraulic tower. At its top are eight visual cameras or two infrared cameras, providing a 360-degree view. It also has communication antennas and weather sensors. The tower operates autonomously on a diesel generator. The adjacent container is an expandable module for four to five operators. If necessary, it can be equipped with protection against ballistic and chemical weapons. Additionally, the tower detects drones, birds, and other moving aerial objects. The invention is planned for use in coordinating air traffic during military and rescue missions in remote areas. Remote execution of various tasks has become possible with the new modular robot FLIR SUGV-325 replacing the 310 model. This small unit weighs only 20 pounds and moves on tracks. It is easily transportable by hand. Additional elements can be attached to the tracks, allowing the robot to lift itself to overcome steep vertical obstacles. Thanks to this chassis, the machine can climb slopes and stairs at a 45-degree angle. The design includes a flexible arm that can hold various tools. At the end of the arm, there are 360-degree cameras, IR sensors, a microphone, and a speaker. The machine becomes the eyes and ears of the operator who controls it remotely using a secure tablet. The main purposes of the robot are observation, reconnaissance, and disposal of dangerous objects. Rivers create natural barriers that hinder operational actions. Building a permanent bridge takes too long and is easily seen from the air. Pontoon bridges require many vehicles to transport the blocks. However, the new quick crossing system can be delivered to the installation site by one helicopter, plane, or truck with a manipulator. Its folded dimensions are 13 by 6 by 6 feet. It consists of sections with railings, each weighing 95 pounds, which can be easily lifted by two people. The sections are assembled into a long path, which is lowered into the water using rotating axial supports with rubber pads. At the opposite end of the path is an unsinkable block filled with air. The total length of the crossing reaches 100 feet, allowing for a quick passage across rivers. Military personnel are well aware of what aerial drones look like, so they quickly recognize and try to neutralize them. For this reason, the Dutch company Guard from Above has developed a flying device disguised as a large bird for covert surveillance. The wings are fixed in place and the drone is powered by two front propellers. It is controlled by flaps on the rear of the wings and tail, and looks like a large eagle gliding on rising warm air currents. This allows the operator to temporarily turn off the engines to reduce noise. On board, it has a panoramic camera, a thermal imager, a mapping camera, and a counter drone system. The device flies for about an hour on a single charge. It will be used for military reconnaissance and for detecting poachers. In this episode, you learned about electronic warfare tools advanced aerial and ground drones, new rapid-fire mortars, and blast wave protection systems. Now you are up to date with the latest human achievements. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next episode, which will air very soon.